hi guys welcome to the vlog this is a super exciting vlog not gonna lie there's so much happening so much going on and so much i want to show you guys um let's just start um so today is sunday and i have a stitch oh my god okay um it's sunday i am going to a winery today is it a winery distillery we'll find out at the same time because i don't know my friend jordan she booked it so who knows but it's gonna be a super exciting week um i'll show you guys what i'm wearing oh you can see my bra that's that's awkward oh i don't know how i'm gonna show you guys this lighting is so oh, i have a really bad stitch um this dress is from white fox my shoes and my windsor smith sandals and my bag is peter and jane as you can see uh, yeah so that's what we're doing um but this vlog like i go to sydney in a few days i'm going to be packing for thailand i've got like a festival on saturday she's wild hi my loves really quickly just before we continue on with the video i'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite pieces from white fox this month i've got a bunch of really cute outfits we've got plenty of stuff um for uni so we've got plenty of tops and like pants and stuff that are perfect for uni outfits and i've also got some really cute dresses really gorgeous for summer and going away and festivals and stuff like that so i think you guys are gonna love it as always white fox offers free express shipping worldwide and they offer afterpay for all australia new zealand and u.s customers if you guys want to shop any of these pieces, Ruby XO will save you guys 15% off. Happy shopping, let's twin. I reckon you guys will love this. This is the Perfect Symphony tank top, and then this is the Keep You Entertained skirt. Something like that. It's linked down below, you guys know that. Um, but this set is so freaking cute. It's like this mesh blue floral set. It's got this little bow right here, which I think is so cute. Um, I'm loving this whole triangle style tops. I feel like they're so in trend at the moment. I've been seeing them everywhere. Um, and of course, mesh. We've been seeing a lot of mesh lately. This dress, commotion for the motherfucking dress. Hope my grandma didn't hear that. Yeah, this dress, I got it in white as well. I'm obsessed with this. This is beautiful. She is gorgeous. It's giving Valentine's hot day. I was actually really skeptical because it looked like it was shiny fabric and it is shiny fabric, but I got my size. So I just stayed true to size and it fits me perfectly. So stay true to size. It's such a win. The straps are adjustable. because so I was like, the straps are a bit long. You can fix those easy. Genuinely, I feel like this is so versatile because I feel like I can wear it with heels. Oh my God, pointy toe heels. <gasps> Or I can wear it with boots, I can wear it with a black blazer, I can wear it with a blurry. It is so freaking versatile and I feel like I can wear it to so many different occasions. She's a win. Can you see that? Two, two, two angel numbers. I think it was closed. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I am loving this outfit. I'm so excited for these shorts. I think they're the like living on the edge shorts or something, but how cute are these? It's kind of giving Safari Dora the Explorer vibes, but they're so comfortable. I did get a size small in these, but they're just like, oh, so much room, so comfortable. So excited to wear these. I feel like I'm going to spend the rest of the summer living in these. These are a slate with capital letters S-L-A-Y. Oh, they're kind of parachuting material, but not. I feel like they are. They're like a mix between parachute and cargo. They're real pockets. God. they're real they're real pockets <laughs> i have paired these beautiful work of art shorts with this white plain tank top i showed you guys this one in black last time i'm pretty sure but this is the best asset tank and i am obsessed with it it is such nice material it's quite thick to be honest um but it's just it feels so supportive but this is what the top looks like i'll just imagine wearing these with white sneakers cross body bag it it'd be pretty freaking cute i reckon i am obsessed with this dress over here like when i saw it online i was like i immediately need you this one is the happier than ever mini dress in white it also comes in black because i was like which one do i get this is the top of it it's kind of corsetti over here it's like stiff here and like wide kind of like a bra which, as you can see the back does do up like a bra i've probably done it so wrong there's no way that i managed to do that by myself not that talented she is so freaking cute i can't i'm so excited to wear this massive summer vibes okay i wasn't sure what to combine this top with so let's ignore the shorts 
Um, I'd probably wear this with, uh, like, <laughs> jeans. <laughs> okay, so this is the style life top. It's just this lilac tank top. This is what it looks like. Um, I feel like I'm meant to iron down these crinkles so that they don't look like that. Like, half up, half down, I guess. Um, this is what it looks like. This is quite snug. Like, I feel like if you want something a bit looser, you can definitely size down. But otherwise, stay true to size. Um, it's just a little bit snug. Oh my god, yes! I'm loving these adjustable straps. These straps are adjustable. This one is so freaking cute. This one is so perfect for uni, especially like in the warmer weather. Just pair with the jeans or a denim skirt. It's honestly such a win. Okay, so up top we've got the Core Memory t-shirt, which is so cute. I literally love her. Like this is gonna be so cute for uni and genuinely just like every day. I live in Melbourne if you don't know, and I feel like Melbourne's just such a t-shirt place because it's a lot of the time it's not warm enough to wear a tank top so t-shirt supremacy around here I have paired this up with the be the moment cargo pants so they're very parachute-y I don't know if you can see <laughs> um but yeah so they're very like parachute pants I'm loving parachute pants at the moment I feel like first day of uni all I'm gonna see everywhere is freaking parachute pants um they're just so comfortable and they're so cute. With these ones, I don't know if you can see. Okay, so these ones have these drawstrings on the side. So you can make it as loose or as tight as you want. Wear them like down here, like the girls on TikTok. Or I can hike them up and wear them like high-waisted, which I personally think looks a bit... <laughs> but you know what? Maybe don't do that. <laughs> I think that looks a bit goofy, but... In the middle just over there i think that's so cute okay oh, it's so annoying because i'm so short so i feel like i can't do this dress justice hold up <laughs> um this is the full of charm midi dress it's not very midi on me because i'm small <coughs> um but basically so this beautiful dress is just this one shoulder pink orange white light pink fold floral dress um it's got like this hole here but the way this hole works is that i don't want to accidentally flash you guys but this actually separates so it's like a like it's it separates basically um so this crosses over it's not like a full circle that's open it like it crosses over i don't know how to explain it without accidentally flashing you guys so if you buy it you'll find out but um this one's so stunning i'm going to a winery which by the time you guys see this video, you would have seen photos from it, I'm sure. But, oh, I don't know. I wanted to wear this, but it, maybe I'll take this one to Thailand. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? You know, when I was choosing out this top, I was like, you know, like I feel like I should get more than one. Because I feel like I'm going to really like it. But you know what I did? I just got one. And you know what I should have done? I should have got more. <laughs> this is the where I should be tank top again. Didn't know what to match it with, so we just got the pants on. It's just like a high neck style, but it is so cute. There's a few colours in this one. Um, but I just think she is adorable and so versatile. Like just imagine with like a bolero or like a jacket or a blazer with like jeans. Oh, so much outfit potential. Oh my god, imagine if you had matching dunks. Oh. Okay. So this one is the taking off top. It's just this really pale grey tank top. It's a little bit ruched. Can you guys see that? It's like ruched here. Thick straps. The back is like, that's the back. It's like in the middle. Um, and the size split on either side, which I think is so freaking cute. This top is so flattering. I probably wouldn't wear it with grey parachute pants. I'd probably wear it with like black baggy jeans or a denim skirt or something. Um, but how cute. And I feel like this one is, again, so much potential for like just like an everyday outfit, like for brunch, but also like for such a slight uni. That's all from me, guys. As always, don't forget Ruby XO to save 15% off. And let's get back into the video. Trust me when I say it is so exciting. And the button that's the I don't know. So really guys, <laughs> we're um, we're still still on this. <laughs> we're in Hillsville. I want to get this zero point back. We're in Hillsville. And um, 
Those are herbs. <laughs> or anything. Or am I just yeah, chilling? Oh my god! There we go. Let's just go ahead. But hey guys, um, happy Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Okay, so I feel like I need to explain Sunday to you guys because from s Sunday I just ended up from Hillsville to the city, and you guys were probably like, "This bitch is crazy," but basically I was invited to a friend's birthday, and originally I was gonna go straight home from Hillsville, but there's no Ubers in Hillsville or taxis apparently, so I had to catch a bus to Lilydale Station, and my friend lives in Lilydale. He was also invited to the birthday because it's his friend and. Um, he was like, I'll just drive you. I'll drive you home. And I was like, sick, okay. And so we did that. So I had a way there and back from the birthday. So I went to the birthday. And it was really, really fun. We went to her and then we got GYG. And that was my night. And it was, it was honestly such a great and adventurous, spontaneous day. Let me brush these lashes. I get them done in a week. Yay. It's Tuesday today. Um, I'm currently at the gym, or like, it was so awkward though, because I parked, and I thought that the car that I parked next was empty, but it wasn't, and I knew I wanted to talk, and I just wanted to like, hype myself up, kind of, and so I was like, oh, I can't park next to this car that has someone in it, so then I moved where my car was. Uh, anyway, um, it's usually her gym time too, so I'm worried we're both gonna walk into the gym at the same time, it would be so awkward. But it's just been a rough 24 hours. I had work all day yesterday, so there was no point in vlogging. I didn't really do anything after. Um, it's just been a really strange week, like full honesty, disclosure, whatever. Um, it's just been a really strange week and a lot of things are changing in my life. I'm just like a ball of anxiousness right now i don't know let's smash out today i actually have so much to show you guys today so it's kind of fun i would like to inform you guys that i did in fact end up seeing the girl in the gym and um we ended up working out right next to each other <laughs> so that was great i love my new headphones but they kind of slip off when um when i do bench press hi guys so I'm quickly running to the shops. I don't even know if the shops are still open. I take photos for Instagram. I was like, mm, I could do with a prop. So I'm just buying some flowers, hopefully. Okay, oh my god, that's me! Okay, so, whoa, shit, okay, it's not happening. Flowers, I, I just got those. They're just sitting on tissues because I'm pretty sure the vegetable shop was closing. Don't blame them, it's 6.15. Um, anyway, so now I'm going to go pick up Jordan, um, and we are going to go to Torak to take some pictures. I haven't taken photos, like, up City Way in a really long time, so I'm really excited for some different pickies and different locations to the huge. Guys, we're at Yochi. <laughs> this is what my thing said my fortune cookie do i make you well delicious hi guys it is wow okay this is awkward someone's just reversing next to me anyway i'm getting my nails done today i wanted to get them done next week for Thailand because I go to Thailand next week in eight days so I'm doing my nails a bit early but they're really fucking disgusting like oh, I don't know if you can see but the white has just all stained otherwise I could definitely make them last longer they haven't lifted or anything um I go to Sydney tomorrow for an event and I was like oh like I don't really want these fucking brown French tips and um at work like people look at my nails a lot so I was just like, oh, I was like, I'll just change them. I just got my nails done. God, I swear, like, I'm going to stop coming to this place. Like, not ugly. My friends like review being dramatic, but like, it's just too pink. I need to go to the gym. Seems, but I'm going to go and try to brighten up my day. So, mum and I just went and we bought flowers for Brooke. Say hi. 
They're so pretty. So is she. Good morning, guys. Um, I've really been a shit vlogger. I've been trying to vlog the fun things. Um, I it is Thursday. I am going to Sydney today for a White Fox event, so that's exciting. Um, I was meant to go with Shiv, but Shiv can't come anymore, so I'm going solo. But honestly, I was like, you know what? It's a sit down dinner event, so that's probably why I'm not like shitting myself right now because otherwise I would be. But I'm just kind of like, um, I have to get used to doing things myself because I'm doing Europe by myself, so. Yeah, get ready because my flight's at 12, but it's at Terminal 1. I'm flying there with Qantas, and I have never flown with Qantas before or left Terminal 1. So I don't know how it works and how far away it is and stuff, so I want to get there at like 10. I'm flying Qantas. This is my first time flying Qantas, and I am so impressed by now. Like, so impressed. I'm just walking through the terminal because I really want to find some food. Hi guys, so I made it to Sydney, or like I made it onto the ground at Sydney. Um, it's now like four or something. My plane landed at like, well it was meant to land at 1.25, we landed at like 1.30. Just gonna go get my bags now. Hopefully get an Uber that isn't a gazillion dollars. But basically like with the storms and stuff, it was just um, so hectic. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Still waiting for bags. I literally hate Sydney Airport with a passion because I just don't know where anything is. And like everything's far away. So you now I'm trying to find the Uber place and I have no idea where it is. So I'm just kind of walking and hoping for the best. Oh my god, guys, I I don't even know how to fix this right now. The, oh, I don't have time for this. <sighs> I literally don't have time for this. <sighs> I... Honestly, I'm so ready to just go home. Um, it's literally seven o'clock, but I need to be at dinner now. And I'm not. But I kind of just need a moment, I think, because I'm just like borderline meltdown right now. Um, like if one more thing goes wrong today, I think I'm gonna crack and just cry. I don't really like my makeup right now. I think it kind of looks like shit. Um, I want it to be very pink because it's like Valentine's and I feel like I'm wearing very summery but it's not really happening. And I'm worried I'm making it worse. It's gonna have to do, I think. There's nothing more I can do. I just need to leave. So I'm in bed. I really need to sleep. I've actually been back in the hotel for an hour and just in my thing. This view, I called my dad because I just wanted to call him and hang out. I'm just chilling in the room. I'm just, just looking at this view. I just, I'm just thinking about a year from, a year ago and a year ago my life was probably the most like fucked up point ever. Um, yeah, it was just wild. It's just like, it's so 
it's so insane to think that a year ago from now, like, I was so nervous about being, ho like, being away from home and, like, unsure about how people felt about me and how people perceived me and now I'm legit in a fucking hotel room by myself and I'm just like living my absolute best life like I'm just like people don't like me they don't like me like that's a them problem I'm just living my absolute best life and I'm here you know like you can't think about what other people think about you when this is your view and that's just facts like I just I'm I'm so incredibly lucky and I'm so lucky that this is my life and this honestly it wouldn't even be my life if it wasn't for you guys like I can't even like this is my dream this is younger me's dream and I just it's just so every single time I get an opportunity like this and I just get to look out and just admire the view I'm just like amazed i need to go to sleep I just don't even want to go to sleep because i'm so in awe right now good morning i i did not sleep well tonight but yesterday today i just i didn't sleep well i woke up like four times during the night which is so random because last time i stayed here like i was so comfy I decided to go on an adventure and I've ended up in Brangaroo where I was one year ago so this is kind of so wild to be back here exactly a fucking year ago but I'm just here I'm I got breakfast I think I forgot to show you guys but I was just like walking around the city and Sydney's just so freaking weird no offense Sydney people but I have no idea where anything is and everything's just confusing and hilly and I keep forgetting that it's early morning and I'm like, everyone's at work. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm walking up to Crown now. I don't know what to do now. I kind of made it to Crown. I think I'm going to work, walk further up and then I'm just going to Uber back to the hotel because the hotel is all the way back there. So I've really, surely I've done my steps for this today. There ain't no way I haven't. I think that's like a marathon. Is there a marathon? I'm confused. I'm confused about what this is, like what the point of this park is, but it's cute. Hey guys, I made it to Starbucks. I wanted to get Cha Time, but Cha Time was closed. Um, I'm so shook because it's like a water park. I'll show you guys because I think I'm going to walk past it again. People always say there's like a massive cafe culture in Melbourne. I didn't get it until I walked around Sydney today and tried to find breakfast. To be honest, I was like, what? Like, where's the coffee shops? Because in Melbourne, there's a coffee shop everywhere. Hello my loves. Once again the case of shit vlogger returned and I did not vlog anything from when I came home on Thursday. On Friday, sorry. Um, so basically the plane was great, landed safely. Got stuck in really bad traffic, so I went to Chad's I had to buy a few things, buy a few outfits and stuff. Um, so I did that, went home. I was just so exhausted that I did nothing except for shower and sleep. Um, yesterday was really, really fun. So as I'm filming this, it's Sunday, and I'm, I need to get out of my car to go to work, but my watch is just charging. Um, yesterday, I went to Hello Sunshine, so just a festival that was close by it was so fun um one of my best friends was playing so um i didn't really want to vlog because i was kind of like just living in the moment i was just kind of taking everything in and just being so proud and happy um why is there fucking food in my car i don't eat in my car so i don't understand how food gets in here yeah, that was i was with my family i was just vibing like I didn't want to vlog I just wanted to enjoy the moment but now I am going to go to work unsure if I'll vlog anything else today um I think I need to start packing for Thailand because I leave for Thailand in a few days um probably I think by the time you see this vlog I am in Thailand I think anyway I should really get to work I'm